Coverage matters. Without it, not only access to care, but also financial security can be out of reach. More than 300,000 Georgians, 155,000 of whom are women, are not just uninsured. They have no coverage options at all. They are stuck in what's become known as the coverage gap. They aren't offered health insurance at work, they don't qualify for Medicaid, and they make too little money to qualify for tax credits on the health insurance marketplace. Health insurance matters for everyone, but women in particular need regular breast and cervical cancer screenings and other preventive services that they too often forego due to cost when they lack coverage and access to care. Through our community partnerships, we have talked to healthcare providers who see women with late stage cancer that could have been detected and combated earlier if they had coverage and access to care. This limits not only women's ability to be healthy, but it limits their productivity at work, their opportunities for economic advancement and empowerment, and really the health and well-being of their whole family. We are proud partners along with the Georgia Budget and Policy Institute in the Cover Georgia Coalition, which has been raising awareness about the need to close the coverage gap and ensure a pathway to coverage for all Georgians. We've been hard at work at this for four years, and now we have a window of opportunity. Policymakers and business leaders are talking about this issue in ways they hadn't before. The state chamber is releasing policy options on the topic. There's a Senate study committee planning to meet this fall and talk of potential legislation in 2017. This is our moment, our opportunity as advocates to ensure this process works for the people who have been left on the sidelines for too long. Your voice matters in this process. Your voices are those of the women and families and people around this state whose health and well-being will be impacted. We want you to engage in this process, to share your ideas, to make sure those voices are heard as these policy decisions are made.